Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brendan and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, it is great to have you. And today I wanted to take a deep dive into Bitcoin and talk about some of the crazy price action that we have been having. Now, if you guys haven't seen already, we've broken out of this ascending triangle, but we're seemingly already retracing back down to support. So I wanted to take just a brief amount of time to talk about this and the impact that this could have on Bitcoin moving forward. So if any of that sounds interesting, make sure you guys stick around for the entire length of the video as there will be important information to discussed the entire way through. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this one. So on the live stream last night, if you guys were there, I talked about this ascending triangle on Bitcoin and how while we are breaking out and getting out of this, this does look really good for Bitcoin. Now, we have indeed broken out of this, but we are already retracing back down to support. Now, this is actually support now because this was previous resistance and now this is gonna be turned into support. So as we retrace back down to this area, I would expect Bitcoin to bounce off of here. Now it is a little bit weird that we are already double topping on the four hour chart. You know, I expected a little bit more of a breakout from a formation this big, definitely not a measured move, but you know, maybe that just means that the best is yet to come. I am getting a little bit hesitant on Bitcoin because again, this breakout isn't really convincing. You know, we've seen, you know, some of the breakouts on the way up already, and they have been a whole lot more convincing and volatile. And I, again, I think the word here is just convincing than what we're seeing on this candle chart right now. So I am a little bit hesitant on Bitcoin. Again, the trend is still your friend. We still have a lot of room that we can go up here without even meeting any kind of significant resistance. But maybe this is just a situation where, where Bitcoin simply just comes back down, retest one or maybe two of its supports. Maybe that's the 50 EMA. Maybe that's the previous uh, uptrend support of this ascending triangle. You know, maybe it's something in this area before we just kind of bounce and then continue going higher from here. But, you know, this is a little bit of a weird sign to see on Bitcoin. Does make me a little bit of cautious. By no means am I shorting or calling this the top. But, you know, I do these, I do see this as a potential warning sign that Bitcoin might be um, getting ready to retrace before any kind of continuation to the upside. So I am watching this closely. Of course, it's very, you know, it's very, very early to call anything like this. But, um, you know, certainly we are in a phenomenal uptrend. The trend is your friend. And if we want to go back up to resistance, it's going to be about thirty-five to thirty-six hundred dollars right over here in this area, which is actually going to be the uh, heart line of this giant ascending uh, parallel channel over here. Now. If we zoom out on this guy, I want to just briefly talk about this as I am drawing all over the chart. Uh, so basically the way that this started is that we have a nice little bit of resistance over in here where we've seen a couple touch points on Bitcoin and we are able to actually uh, see some of the support as well. Now we are able to see the support before it was even drawn up because with the parallel channel tool, you can actually just mark your two forms of uh, resistance or even support and then it will create a correlating heart line and support line. Now we can see that the heart line and the support line have been confirmed. We could see that the breakdown of this heart line was pretty nice. We came back, tested it, consolidated just a bit before falling down to support. And we have tested support a couple of times to the downside. Now I do believe that we are ultimately moving back up to this heart line right over in here. And this is gonna put us conveniently right at this previous swing high of about 35 to 3,700 over here. So I wouldn't be too surprised if Bitcoin wants to start conquering some of these previous highs. Again, it does have a little bit of ways to go over here as it has not one, not two, but three previous swing highs all within you know a couple thousand dollar area over here. But the good news is if Bitcoin can break this, you know, I'm pretty much looking at the next level of resistance being the top of this previous channel, which is going to put us just around that $17,000 mark, which is going to make a lot of sense on Bitcoin, because if we actually scroll over here, $17,000 is also the previous high, while it is, you know, still the top of that parallel channel. So it's kind of a two in one maneuver. We can tell that if Bitcoin wanted to make a measured move to the top of the channel, it would make sense because again, this is a macro previous swing high from all the way back in January of 2018, which is a pretty monumental time for Bitcoin. Now, of course, we do have a lot of levels of resistance that we need to go through to get there. The volume is still looking pretty good on this daily chart. You know, the volume isn't fading off. I think it's just some of the price action and um, a little bit more of the, the breakout not doing exactly what I thought it was going to do. Again, I thought it was going to be a little bit more volatile. I thought that this was at least going to get us up to, um, you know, the mid 
excuse me, up to closer to like 12,800, somewhere a little bit higher up. Um, but again, nothing's wrong with this because this simply could be a break, hook, and go scenario like we've seen on Ethereum and EOS and XRP and a lot of these coins uh, already. So it would not surprise me at all if we actually just come down here, bounce off of this, or you know, really we have a ton of support in here. Of course, we have our, our previous resistance now turned into support. We have our 50 EMA over in here, and then we have our previous support line. So um, there's plenty of support in here on Bitcoin. Um, and really any of these areas, it, it can retrace back down to and then continue to the upside. So, um, you know, I'm not trying to call anything too bearish yet, but I do want to see how this plays out. I think it's, you know, again, the trend is your friend here. And uh, there was actually just a great level of volume that came in today on this move to the upside. So that's actually a really, really um, reassuring uh, sign over here. And we haven't even retraced 50% of the way back down. So, you know, this does, as of right now, still look pretty bullish for uh, the upside. So let's go ahead and take a look at the RSI and the MACD over here. And uh, right now, we're again, we're still climbing. Oscillators are pointing upwards. Um, we're sitting in a neutral territory on the RSI, so nothing too crazy. I do see that we have this um, lower swing high over in here, but if we can actually kind of contradict this and break back up here, that would show a huge level of strength on Bitcoin. Um, and what we don't want to see is a lower swing high on the RSI, because that would mean that we are most likely losing strength on Bitcoin. But again, there's no sign of that yet. So um, no need to put the extra FUD out into the market. Yeah, over in here, you know, we're trying to break back into this overbought area on the daily RSI. If you guys can't see this, this is right over in here. Um, we're trying to break back up into this overbought section, which is just going to be right over in here. So if we can do that again, I would love to see this. I think what we need to happen is to not have a lower swing high. If we come up over here and get rejected anywhere around this area and then come downwards, that's going to be a sign of weakness for Bitcoin. I'm not saying it's going to send it to new lows or anything like that, but it could warrant um, you know, a, a, a decent sized pullback if that were to happen. But again, volume's looking good over here. Um, you know, we're, we're climbing, we're higher than the point that we were at the beginning to mid of July. So that is already a good sign as we are in the middle of August right now. So um, not too much else to talk about over here on Bitcoin, but um, overall the chart is looking pretty good. Not quite as strong as it was. You know, if you guys remember, I've been making a ton of bullish videos recently, just talking about how consistently bullish, you know, Bitcoin is, Ethereum is, XRP is. Um, I would still say that this is bullish, but I would say that it is not quite as bullish as um, as it has been for quite some time now. So um, ultimately, I still like what I'm seeing. There is an absolute ton of support on Bitcoin. So even if it retraces here, I'm pretty confident that it's going to get caught on something. EMAs are still pointing directly upwards. So, uh, you know, really no nothing that is too bad. Um, definitely still bullish in my opinion. So that's going to go ahead and... Uh, finish off today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, uh, make sure to hit that like and comment button. I love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. And if you guys really enjoyed it, share it with a friend. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.